Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to use CO2 cartridges to make sure that the zombie is really deader than dead. Okay, these little uh, cartridges actually held 12 grams of uh, CO2 and it is pressurized. This means that there is 56 times the pressure of the atmosphere on this little bottle. Of course, the idea is to somehow get the gas inside of the skull of the zombie so that it <laughs> blows up and ideally just makes the eyeballs popping out. That would be great. <laughs> now, when you quickly empty this cartridge, what happens is that it gets very, very, very cold, actually much below freezing temperature. That's because that's what expanding gas does. You can probably feel this even on a paint can. When you spray it, you know, it gets colder. And it gets extremely cold when this empties. So this is a side effect. We put the brain under pressure and then we cool it down to freezing temperature. That will do for good. Now, how do you get the CO2 cartridge inside of the skull of the zombie? That's not going to be easy. And even if you shoot it into the brain, which isn't completely impossible, still you have the problem that it is closed in front and the gas won't expand. So we have to do something to get inside of the skull cavity and then pop the cartridge. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the gas injection skull hammer with a spike. <laughs> Let me show you its features. So as you see, it consists of a fat bull ball for the weight. It has a stainless steel tube that, that holds the cartridge in place. It has this spike that's actually turned from a massive 30 millimeter steel bar. And uh, what it does is when you hit with it, it pushes the tip in like this and pierces the cartridge. And then the gas comes out of these holos here. Here you can see the inside. This is actually the moving part. And you see there is a set screw that holds it in place and makes sure that it's not falling out. And inside here, I'm not sure if you can really see this well, but there is this little piercer. It is important that the CO2 cartridge gets centered really, really well, because otherwise it would not pierce the little hole in the middle. And the spike otherwise is hollow, and the uh, the hole ends here, where it's then led to these four exit, uh, exit holes. So what you do is you put in the cartridge, like this, and then you put the spike in, this way. Then you close the hole set up, like this. And as you see now, you can't close it because that would smash the uh, little tin foil in front of the cartridge. Okay, it works like this. <laughs> and it also is very, very cold, like the entire setup is cold. Next, we will test it against a plastic bottle filled with water. Let's see what happens. Wow, I'm wet. <laughs> As you see, the weather is too bad currently to do any high-speed recording. Um, but I'd like to do this next week, should the weather be okay. And I need your suggestions about, against what should I use this. Should I use a zombie go boom Ivan head? Should I use ballistic gelatin? Should I use real meat? You tell me. Leave a comment. By the way, uh, there was someone who really did a great poster for me. I love it. He didn't even forget my belly. <laughs>